What are some of the best small cars you can buy in America today? Well, I posed that very question to the Roadshow staff, and here are a few of the models we came up with. Hello again, I am Roadshow Reviews editor Craig Cole, as indicated by the on-screen lower third. Now, aside from a range of major problems facing the world today, it is a great time to be in the market for a new vehicle. You see, there are so many excellent cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from, you pretty much can't buy a bad one. Today's vehicles are almost universally excellent, but certain models are still better than others to help you make an informed decision. Here are some of the very best small cars available, and in no particular order, we start with the Volkswagen Golf. Since the mid-1970s and across some eight vehicle generations, this Teutonic breadbox on wheels has delivered the goods. Spacious, efficient, fun to drive, and affordable, the Golf is unquestionably an automotive legend. Today, it is as practical as ever, offering loads of cabin space, nicely trimmed interiors, and efficient powertrains. Of course, all this wholesome goodness is wrapped in clean styling, though some might call it a little boring. Oh, well, sorry, I dozed off for a second there. If the standard model is a bit too sleepy for you, there's always the Zippy GTI, which is a certifiable hoot to drive and still plenty versatile. There's something for every sort of motorist, well, unless you need a heavy-duty truck. VW does not offer a Golf like that yet, but maybe next year. Looking for some driving fun on a budget? Well, swing by your local Hyundai dealer and check out the Veloster lineup. You won't be disappointed. I mean, you might be, but I really don't think so. This asymmetrical three-door hatchback is a riot to drive, yet it's still perfectly practical. Giving you plenty of options is a broad range of engines. There's a base two-liter four-banger that's good for 147 horsepower. You can also get a 1.6 turbo that cranks out 201 ponies. And then there's the Veloster N. It features a two-liter turbocharged unit that's good for 250 horses in standard trim, 275 if you opt for the $2,100 performance package. Now, best of all, it is married to a slick-shifting six-speed manual gearbox. Fun and functional, stylish and sophisticated, the Hyundai Veloster is a solid choice. If there's an award for most improved small car, the 2020 Nissan Sentra would win it. 100%. This compact four-door, technically it's a mid-sizer based on combined interior volume, has been transformed into something that looks and feels like a car you'd actually want to own, not just borrow for $9.99 a day while vacationing in Orlando. Now, the latest Sentra looks the business with an attractively aggressive front end, available two-tone paint schemes, and a dramatically improved cabin. Those rounded air vents look and feel great. Plus, you can even get diamond quilted leather. How fancy! The Sentra is a little light on body styles and powertrains. It only comes as a four-door, and all that's offered under the hood is a two-liter engine with 149 horsepower. Still, this car looks great drives nicely, and finally feels like a winner. Now, if you want to feel the same way, make sure to subscribe to the Roadshow YouTube channel and give this video a like a -roo. I'll tell you, a whole bunch of hardworking folks appreciate your continued support. Thanks again. Next on our list of all-around excellent small cars is the Mazda 3. Available as a sedan or hatchback, Hiroshima's Little Wonder is not only a delight to look at, but drive as well. It's dressed in some of the most elegant styling in the business, certainly for its segment, and it has superb dynamics. Under the hood is a 2.5-liter four-pot engine packing 186 horsepower, and depending on the model, an automatic or manual transmission, each with six forward speeds, is on the menu. Ditto for front or all-wheel drive. How cool is that? Matching its elegant exterior, the Mazda 3's cabin is beautifully designed and crafted. And really, it wouldn't look out of place in a luxury car. It's just too bad that pretty interior is a little on the snug side. What happens when you combine funky styling with a practical interior, lots of technology, oh, and a few hamsters? That's right, you get the Kia Soul, another one of our favorite small cars. I hate those hamsters. Some of you might consider this South Korean hauler to be a crossover, but I don't. To me, it's purely a hatchback since it's low to the ground and only offered with front-wheel drive. 
Now, since it debuted about a dozen years ago, the Soul has been a blockbuster for Kia selling by the literal boatload. Now in its third generation, that showroom success is sure to continue because the new model is nicer inside and more feature-laden than ever. As for performance, a base 2.0-liter 4-banger serves up 147 horses, just like in the Veloster, but the range-topping model comes with a 1.6 turbo delivering 201 underhood equines. <laughs> I know. Now the Kia Soul is not only fun and functional, it's one mighty fine small car. All right, before wrapping this video up, I've got one more roadshow recommendation to cover, and I think you might know what it is. The Honda Civic has always been one of the finest small cars you can buy, and the current 10th generation model is the best of this long-standing breed. So why do we love the Civic? Well, how much time do you have? It's roomy inside and comes with loads of standard equipment, including the Honda Sensing suite of driver aids. Its interior is premium. These cars are well-built, fuel-efficient, reasonably priced, and should hold their value like a Fabergé egg. But if all that hasn't convinced you, the Civic also drives well, even in its most basic form, and Honda offers an enormous, a seriously girthy array of flavors. You can get it as a sedan, hatchback, coupe, a sporty SI model, and of course the Sublime Type R, which may be the best front-wheel drive car ever built. Yeah, fight me on that point. Really, it's hard to go wrong with any version of the Honda Civic. And that brings this video to a merciful close. What do you think of our Roadshow recommendations? What other small cars should we have included? Why are you complaining about the Nissan Sentra? I know you're leaving coarse comments about it down below. You don't have to be so mean. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.